Hi everyone, Sierra Game Scott coming to you from Conquest of Camelot. <coughs> oh, pardon me for that. Um, and pardon me if the last video uh, was, seemed like a little rushed. Um, I, I think it's okay. I do apologize if I did try to mail it in a little bit there. But we're back, and I'm fresh with a new slate of videos. And hopefully, this one will. Um, this is going to be the last set. Um, not hopefully because we're done with it. Just hopefully because um, we can uh, just wrap up this uh, this game. And um, there isn't that much left to do, but uh, we're not going to rush through it. Which I'll try to um, take my time, and um, we'll see what else there is in the catacombs and elsewhere. So uh, I'm just going. You remember, stay away from the mummies because you can get bitten by a rat. And we are going to go see what happens. Ooh, ooh! Yikes! Alas, a rat has bitten you. There was nothing you could do to avoid it. Um, and that's actually very true. Uh, just a second. The Hierophant warned that even one bite was lethal and death in inevitable, though it may be slow when coming. And it appears that Galahad has fallen prey to, to the rats, for there he lies, upon a, a bear, bear? Uh, unaware even of your presence. Um, and that's actually very true. There's nothing you could do to avoid it. It's just uh, something like getting your purse robbed in Jerusalem. It's pretty much just a uh, plot sequence that you have to go through. Um, so, uh, let's take a look at this odd-looking place. Galahad lies upon a bier with his chamber, surrounded by those long dead. So, a bunch of mummies. Now, why are there mummies in Jerusalem? I don't know. Uh, but that's, this game has long since not made that much sense. Can we uh, talk, Galahad? He has no condition to answer you. Well, as you might guess, we have to give him that elixir. Uh, it's one of those valiant things we do, even though we could save ourselves. Um, you can't save Galahad otherwise. So we have to deal with the rats, but uh, he's saved. Arthur, my king, I knew you would come. Only one way out, the gift for Aphrodite. You must bring her. Bring her the... Hmm. He's lapsed into a healing coma. By the time he is healed, you will be dead of the rat's poison. You have but one chance to find the grail. Only its healing powers may save you, if you can find it in time. Uh, do not despair or regret your choice. You've done the good and noble deed, and saved Galahad, who served you so faithfully. Um, okay. Well, I guess he's okay. <laughs> he's still kind of just laying there. Arthur, beware the rats. Any closer and you will be bitten. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, anyway. Yeah, they seem to rip this plot from the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, what was it? Indiana Jones, the third one. Uh, something with the Holy Grail. Alright, anyway, so, um... Um, well, you gotta go west. Well, we're out of here. I don't know what that exactly meant. I guess not to get too close to the mummies. Alright, so, I guess it's a good place to save the game. Um, we'll just save it down here. Oops, well, I don't know what that is. It does accidentally, but it saved us some time, so it saved you some time. Alright, so, um, uh, just want to make sure I have the directions right. West, then north. Then north, then east. All right, so it's pretty much just back uh, through this area where we've already been. We just went a different way. All right, so we need to look at this mural. This is kind of an interesting thing. Apologize if it's offensive to anyone. I guess there's some pixelated nudity, but I guess it's supposed to be high art, right? All right, anyway, it shows the story of Pygmalion, which is written in your Liber X Doctrina, which is just a manual. This version is rather fancifully embellished with doves and pipings, satyrs, satyrs? Not sure what that is. All right, um, so we've got saved already. Let's let's uh, give apple, I think. Remember that golden apple we got from the sarcophagus? Well, that does, that's not what we do with it. <laughs> uh, but what do we do with it? Um, we just put Apple in Statue's hand. Oh, excuse me. We're just supposed to look at that. It's actually the next scene that we do something. I, that's the the one problem with using the walkthrough is uh, sometimes you can get mixed up if you don't know what's going on yourself. Uh, but I have actually played this through before. All right, now we can give the Apple. Ugh. Use golden... Apple. You have brought the gift by which I am made complete. For this, I will tell you what you must do to escape the catacombs. 
First be warned, from this moment on, every trap door within the catacombs is a pos uh, every door in the cat within the catacombs is a possible trap. If you leave the safety of this room too soon, you may be trapped forever within a tomb. Oh, it's a rhyme. It is Aphrodite's will that you should know something of her history. I'll pose you six questions to test your knowledge of her. Ugh. So yes. Once each question requires but one word and answer. When you've answered all six, I shall reveal to you how many how you may escape the catacombs. Yes, it's another trivia contest. As for sacred, the sacred cup, it lies beyond the catacombs. You will not find it here. The test now begins. All right. Well, we can save that, and I'm gonna replace this not as beat night, but uh, uh, we'll save it as quiz. Yeah, I'm watching a clock. We're pretty good on time. All right. Um, oops. Uh, the Pygmalion. I think it was the question. I kind of. I think it's Aphrodite is the answer. That is not the answer. The test continues. Who fell in love with Adonis? Or if you, well, you gotta go back and start this over. I think you're allowed to do this. I was told you could do this. We'll see if we can try that again. What's the name of the king who his father hid to Hippo... whatever. Hippopotalus. Uh, chariot. Uh, no wait, not... <laughs> that's also a problem if you look at the wrong thing. Um, the father... Alright, I don't have that answer. Alright, one more time. If I can't do it, I will pause it for your sake and not subject you to my uh, ignorance of Greek theology. Who is dragged to death behind his chariot? Um, it was Hippo, Hippo, whatever his name is. Let me uh, pop that in there. Uh, we're going without sound for right now. It's just because it's very annoying. Um, it's just pretty much the same repetitive tone. Alright. Hippo. Paul Litus. That is the answer. The test continues. Upon whom did Theseus call for vengeance upon Hippolytus? Um, Poseidon. I think he's the god of the sea. All right. Uh, whom did Pygmalion worship? Uh, this is one's Aphrodite. Okay. That is the answer. The test continues. Where did Pygmalion live? Um, Alright. Uh oh. Where did Pygmalion live? That's on my list of uh, answers. Anyone, can you help me? Uh, you probably can't because uh, this is not live, unfortunately. Um, Greece? Mount Olympus. All right, so we're pretty much toast on that. Well, let me not subject you to the rest of this intriguing uh, trivia contest, and uh, let me pause the video here, and uh, we'll be back when I actually know what the heck is going on. Uh, maybe I'll clue you in if it looks like we're getting close. Anyway, I'll be out for a second, and hopefully be back. All right, we're back, and this is the last question. And actually, this is not in my hint, but I fortunately we have the miracle of Google on my laptop, and it is six for anyone who's curious. Aphrodite's sacred number is six. You can give them the six answers I require, and earn your chance at freedom. First, accept this gift. All right, that's kind of loud, isn't it? When you have proven yourself by sword and shield, by time. Uh, we'll, the time will be right to use the dove. All right, so we got a dove. To escape from the catacombs, you must enter six doors exactly as I tell you. If you choose a trap door that is wrong, you will find yourself trapped forever. Or if you choose a door that is wrong, you'll find yourself trapped forever. All right. Uh, you begin by here by choosing the first door you must enter. So it's always going to be south. Or uh, not south, pardon me. All right. I give you the orders and... Uh, shoot. Okay. Um... Well, this looks like a good place to stop. West, east, south, east, south, north, north. Okay, well, I have that, actually. Have no fear for Galahad. When he is healed, I shall set him free. You have earned that boon. All right, folks, uh, I shall not speak again. Your escape relies upon your own ingenuity. Some of the stuff snuck on me a little bit quickly in this episode. I apologize uh, for the trivia part. Those things are always annoying, kind of hard to work with. Um, I don't know why the game does that, but we can talk about that later. In any event, that's pretty much what you do here, and um, we'll, we'll flee the catacombs in the next video. I apologize if this video was a little sloppy for everyone, but hopefully you had a good time and we got to see a few things, and um, I hope there weren't too many Greek history buffs who fell gypped by uh, 
yet another one of Sierra's uh, either copy protections or just weird ways of tormenting me. In any event, this is Sierra Game Scott. We're playing Conquest of Camelot. Signing off. Take care.